Welcome to the wonderful world of the Pauper Gauntlet. You know what I want to do? I want to play Crushers. Get a ton of mana. Thunder for 30. It's time to play Kuldothatron, Monored Tron. In the third round of the Pauper Gauntlet for single elimination. Let's do it. Woohoo! Tron it up against Funkalicious. Funkalicious. Hi, Funkalicious. Good luck. Uh, yes, I want to play first. Uh, that sucks. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice a permanent. I think I have to send this back. Oh yeah, that I'm gonna keep. It's not very good, but I'm keeping it. Funkalicious is keeping. Yeah, I am keeping. Let's do this. Power plant. Play power plant. Mm, what are you gonna do, Funkalicious? Funkalicious, wake up. Ah, uh, island preordain. Maybe. Island. Where's the preordain? No preordain. Uh, any blue deck should probably be able to counter a lot of stuff I do. And that will be bad. Bad. Thought scour. I'm getting milled here. No, he milled himself. It's... What? It's exhume. I don't get it. Dragon Breath. Okay, it's some sort of Exhumed deck. So I want to get this Crusher in my yard. How do I handle Crushers? Uh, but he just has a Stinkweed Imp. But Stinkweed Imp should help him find stuff. And I don't have a lot going on. So I just have to gather enough burn to kill uh, a crusher. <laughs> digging, 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 trying to find Ursa lands. Mm, draw a card. What the hell is this? The cycle lamp. I'm gonna cycle the cycle lamp because that's what it's there for. Looking for Ursa lands instead of stupid cycle lands. Uh, nothing interesting yet. Treasure cruise, think we imp. Yeah, he's gonna go dredgy, dredgy. Do you hear the coffee in the background? That will make me even more hyper! Stinkweed Imp to the rescue. What are you going to do with that Stinkweed Imp? It does just one damage a turn. Am I afraid of that? Why would I be afraid of that? Expedition map, tower. Play tower. Stink with him comes to fight? Me? What did I ever do to you, stink with imp? Oh, you nasty little imp. He only has 26 cards left. He is missing his reanimation target, but he is proceeding through his deck at an alarming rate. Okay, he's delving, he's cruising. He 
you should be able to get uh, a crusher into play before me. One exhume is dead, two exhumes are dead. Is there a common Dell creature that you want to play? Oh, it was just the aftershock from the treasure cruise. Oh no, Stinkweed Imp, don't do it! Out! That hurt! Stinkweed Imp, I shall punish you. The, the chance that he doesn't have a way to kill my crusher is remote at best. Okay, I am cycling this thing. Rebirth. That doesn't feel like what I want to do. So, and now <laughs> I'm gonna not have any more lands either. Uh, did I really want to kill it? He already had this thing. Yeah, we didn't have it. God, I'm just giving it up. And I need... Oh, that was stupid. I would ha should have saved the fireball to hit a uh, crusher. There are the crushers. And I gave them to him. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> Whereas I could actually have killed the crusher with this thing just gets hazed. Well, that's over. Yeah, I really messed that up. Why did I kill that Stinkweed Imp? Not good. Well, my only hope is to sacrifice two furnaces and then randomly draw my own. Uh, I draw the mine. Not the best play. I am pretty sure Reanimator is not in the sideboard plan. So we'll just have to improvise. And we don't have any artifact hate. Even if I draw a crusher here, it doesn't do a whole lot. Yep, yeah. well. Okay, Circle Protection doesn't do anything against Crushers, Electric doesn't do anything, Race doesn't do anything, Grudge doesn't do anything. Marauders to get a quicker threat, possibly. And take out... Crack the earth, because that's not going to save me against him. That's what I'm doing. Monored Kuldothatron. Here we go. Double expedition map. So now I was taught in another comment I should play the Wellspring on turn 2. Oh, um, before I play the expedition map, before I activate the expedition map. But that just feels wrong, and I think it's absolutely wrong with two. Oh, Trixie. So we're getting a third turn. Crusher. Or we're not going to be able to burn him out in time, but we're going to rebirth and use the tokens to live another turn.
And maybe that's what we should be doing now. Or we can do that next turn. When we do have the Tron, of course. So we play tower, play the expedition map. Get the power plant and go from there. We're actually not that far from being able to burn out the crusher. But here he is. Hello, Mr. Crusher. Oh, intriguing. The Crusher did not show up in time. That's interesting. I really want some graveyard hate in every sideboard in Popper. It's the perfect sideboard cards, like they do something really decisively against one deck and you know when to bring them in. Against one deck, against all the Dredge deck, all the Torture Resistance decks, all the Reanimator decks. Definitely a good thing to have in the Gauntlet. What happens now? Not a lot. Funkalicious is sad because it doesn't have a swamp. But I have the things I want. Let's do this. Okay. There is a mine, there is a tower. We need power plant. For Tron power! Tron lands assemble. Uh, Funkalicious, come back to me. Come back to me. Do not leave me. Not like this. This relationship just got started. Oh, what must I do? Oh, sorry, laggy. That's too kill. But I am a polite person, so I said, no problem. I just watched uh, PewDiePie tr um, show um, to American dudes what sour herring is. And that is by far the thing I've smelled that smelled the worst. And the Americans agreed, and even PewDiePie agreed. It's a Swedish dish that uh, consists of you take a couple of fish and you uh, dig them into the ground for like half a year and then they rot incredibly and then you eat them. Yeah, not making that up. My father loved it. Uh, let's get the power plant. Power plant. Okay, now is the time when I should be playing a crusher, but I don't have a crusher, so I better look for one. So I play the Wellspring. Blow it up. And now I very much need uh, red mana, don't I? So am I gonna expedition map for a mountain to burn the crusher? Well, I don't need to decide what I'm expedition mapping for yet. But the mountain is not enough, is it? No, it's one damage short. So let's hope he doesn't play crusher now, but we do have time. I can get the mountain, play the crater, and then we're gonna no, we, doesn't, we don't have to do that. We just need a red mana. We have the power plant for extra mana. Now it's time for treasure cruise. Go on the cruise. 
to the Caribbean. Yeah, hitting that graveyard would have been so sweet. Just a little relic Electron Dex used to have. But he's not doing anything. So am I getting that mountain now? Now I don't have to. What do I get? Uh, crater Fangraph. Hmm, Fangraph. My reanimation. I'll get another smoldering crater. I think. But then I'm just gonna cycle it away. Yes, I get the crater. Have to play one of them. Can cycle away the other. Go get him, my goblins. Okay, play one crater for because we need two red mana. Cycle the other one. Play land is something you should be doing last, right? That's nice. What about the star? I feel I should save it the next turn. In case I need to burn a crusher. But what else can you do but play a crusher? And now I feel fairly immune against the crusher. Now I want to play a crusher. Where is my crusher? When it is, go when is it going to be my turn to play a crusher? Mom. Mnemonic wall. Okay, okay, okay. There is the crusher. Hello, Mr. Crusher. You come to save the day. But now I can just burn his head off. Yeah, and I sacrifice. How about sacrificing the star and a goblin? That sounds reasonable. There is another crusher in the graveyard. There's a prism. Nice. Okay, so I can deal with this crusher. I need a lot to do firebolt, firebolt, fireball, fireball. So I can't do that. I have to thunder it. And a hydroblast now will probably cost me the game. So, eight on you, one on you, yes. What about the next crusher? That I has, have no defense for. So I have one red mana too little. I need more red mana again. I wish I could get rid of his graveyard. The dragon breaths, the crushers, everything. Well, he has four exhumes and we've only seen one. So why would there not be a second exhume now? Or oh, we can even transmute for it, so... There is just another one. So I have to kill four crushers. This is like the the deck that David Schaffer said he was so disappointed with. So he built Exhum Control instead. But it seems to be doing okay against me. Now I have four life, I have to kill this crusher now, but I can't, so I die. Lightning Bolt, Firebolt, 
Fireball, that's 7 damage, that's not enough. So we're desperately looking for something. Just the Crusher would be great, but he probably has a removal spell. We still have to fight off two more exhumes. He also have the Mnemonic Wall. So maybe even more. Fang Remorder. That's kind of interesting. How much mana is this? This is 8 left. So I have one Crimson Wisp to play on him. To see if I actually find the Crush instead. And not the Firebolt, but I still need 4 red mana. And I don't have that. So I have to play... The Crusher. And now I sacrifice the Prism. And <laughs> and what? Um, and the power plant. But if he has any removal now, I'm in trouble. So now I also have a reanimation target. First power plant. Uh, yeah, five life. Yes, obviously. Do I take the damage here? And then try to kill him somehow. No, I think it's better for the Marauder to die if so I have an, a target. But what do I do next turn? <laughs> oh, I could have saved the bolt. Yeah. Oh god, I screwed that up. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Something I do, I get obsessed with, say, why don't I have graveyard removal? And then I don't do the best of the situation. Although I feel that I, I have no way out of this with his extra exhumes and stuff. He got an exhume, of course, yes. Crimson Wisp, trying to get a Crusher. <laughs> if he actually had a Crusher, it would be... Oh, he would have to remove that, right? Because now that one is going to exhume from everything, but his, his, his is going to have haste. And I threw away my Crimson Wisp, but I couldn't attack. I could have attacked there. That would have hurt him quite a bit. No, he just could just cast Exhume again. We haven't seen any removal in his deck. So what happens now? I lose two permanents plenty of times. Should I try to burn him out while I can? Of course he can get a second crusher. I get my marauder. Yeah, now I have to sacrifice four permanents. That doesn't work at all. And I still don't have any red mana untapped. But this time I used... Oh, I do have red mana. So now I can get rid of them. 
And it was okay here with curd exhumed, so there's just no all the exhumes are gone. So there is hope. So block both. Bolt one before the sacrifice, right? Yes. So now I bolt. And then I just have to sacrifice a lot of stuff. I can't even save the Tron. So having a red mana left seems good. Sacrificing an artifact seems good. So I have to save the smoldering crater. What Ursa lands have I lost? Just the power plant. So don't sacrifice the power plant. So I will sacrifice mine, furnace, tower, tower. That sucks. Uh, all is yes, all is good. Tower. Tower. Block. Block. Does he have another wall? Interesting. He only has eight cards left. So Fanger Marauder did work. He's gonna have to try to kill me with the stink with him, but I saved my removal. So I think I somehow have gotten out of this. Or did I? <laughs> Race electric. Dream twist. Now he's trying to mill me. Yes. Can that work? Just an army of stink rhythms. How many dream twists in his? Graveyard are 26 cards, one. Can this work? <laughs> what a weird game of magic. But if it if it doesn't have a chance, why doesn't he concede to save his clock? No idea. All the exhumes are in the rear. He need to he needs to get them by oh he concedes. <laughs> Do you feel I should change anything? I don't know what that would be. No, this is what we do. Let's. Uh, there it, I feel it's very likely we could get the crusher faster than he could. What 
Och en intens matchup. Okej, okay, Mono Red Kuldosta från I Will Not Let You Down. This is you and me going to the fourth round of the Poppy Gauntlet. You're not making it easy on us. Not easy at all. Smoldering Creator. And then Pris. And then Star. Or should I always play the Ursa land in case I draw an Ursa land? And then just use Star next turn and play the Smoldering Creator only in Emergency. Yeah, I'm doing it. An Emergency being not having drawn another land, of course. Oh, it's a crush. <laughs> Can he do it turn two? No such luck. I can't produce a crusher before turn four. But I want to do that. Okay. A tower. That means tower, mine, prism. Should I burn the star? I can burn the star next turn. I can even rebirth the star. It's not like I need the mana now, so let's rebirth the star. Looking for action. Uh oh. That's action, and that is doom, I guess. Turn three, Crusher. How I wish I had like an edict. <laughs> well, this is gonna be rough, but we did survive in game two. But how the hell are we gonna survive now? To sacrifice the lands, uh, the artifacts. Expedition map comes to taunt us. We need to find the Ursa land, find another land, sacrifice. <laughs> uh, okay, I can sacrifice the expedition map to get three permanents. Block. And that sort of gives me another turn. But how am I getting the red mana? Okay, play the prism. Yeah, either way, it's it's my dreams are crushed here. Now I'm mentally giving up because now he eats the Ursatron. Because we need the red mana to do anything, so we have to sacrifice like that. So brittle. Anything blue? Anything? Black, like bounce spell, <laughs> an edict effect, yeah. But against me, it's perfect. He's cruising. Okay, play this land, play the expedition map, rebirth the expedition map, do I live another turn? To what end? Uh, 
Prism Rebirth next turn. Why don't I have like cards in my graveyard? Damn it. Targeting careful study. Isn't that kind of a waste of the wall? Yeah, how do I get out of this? Tell me how I get out of this. Two goblins die. One goblin block. 450 left, so he has plenty of time. And I can do that this stunt too many times. Mine. Prism. So now actually if I draw a power plant, there is a small sense of hope. Like not much, but sort of the feeling that the, the world is not over. So here comes three little goblins. You do in Louie. Ready to die. Like, I wonder what Uncle Scrooge is up to. Smack! And they're dead. Okay, we don't get to have a graveyard, but that doesn't matter, does it? Could have mattered last duel. <laughs> Not the crusher with the dragon breath on it. Oh my god. Yeah, now I have to sacrifice three lands. So I save the smoldering crater and uh, sacrifice a goblin. And then what? So it's tower and then it's a goblin and a mine. And I yet live. And I think I'll throw a bolt to his face as well. To show him I'm still to be reckoned with. And I have three spells costing a lot. Two crushes coming down on me. One smoldering crater. And I draw a power plant. And that is all she wrote. Monored Kuldothatron has been crushed by Demir Reanimator. That's rough. Monoretron is uh, dead. No permanence. That's the way to go. Sixty-five decks remain in the competition. Thank you for watching.